Hi, my friend, it's Mohammed here, and I want to welcome you again to 2021. Now, I'm sure by now we're already at the 13th of January, and you've already planned your goals, your New Year's resolutions, and how are you progressing with them? We're almost two weeks into the new year. Are you keeping up with your New Year's resolutions and goals, or have you already let a couple of them slip by the wayside? What I want to share with you here today is some of your business resolutions and also your personal resolutions that I think are critical for you to keep at and keep going in 2021 if you want to have a big 2021. So first thing, most important, is to plan out each day. Be clear of what it is that you need to get done for the day. Make sure that you work on your most important tasks. I've spoken about this before in some of my other videos. You want to eat that frog, like Brian Tracy says. What is the most important, critical thing that you need to get done today? And do that thing. Focus on that. Remove your to-do list. Build up a not-to-do list. So I don't want to do these things. And shorten your to-do list. Make it only two, three, maximum of maybe four items that you need to get done every day and then plan those things out. Schedule that into your diary, into your calendar and prioritize those most important tasks. That is the best way for you to achieve your goals and to keep momentum in the year. If you can tackle those most important tasks and tick them off every day, the next day is going to get easier and easier. The next thing you want to do is expand your network. Now, we all know that your network is your net worth. So what you want to be doing is at least on a monthly basis, if you can, maybe fortnightly or even weekly, schedule some time to make a new connection. Go out and network, meet someone for coffee. If it has to be a virtual coffee, then do so. But building up your network is going to be critical for you in 2021 for you to expand your business, expand your personal uh, networks and reach. And networking should be scheduled into your calendar, into your diary. You need to have a block time within your uh, calendar, maybe a Wednesday or a Thursday, that those days are for networking. And, you know, prepare ahead as well. Plan, Like I said, plan your day, prepare your networking um, uh, events and meetings. You know, this week, start prepping for next week. Who do, would you like to meet? And start contacting them and scheduling those things in. Because sometimes your calendar and their calendar might not line up. So you need to plan it ahead for two weeks and three weeks. So important to go out and build your network. <clears throat> the third thing that you should be focusing on and some of the goals that you need to be keeping is ensuring that you're making time for yourself. As a business owner, as an entrepreneur, you still have other commitments besides everything that relates to your business, right? So it might be your family, it might be your personal health, and it's important not to neglect those kind of things. Family is important. Your health is critical. You only have one body, one, um, you know, <clears throat> and you need to look after that. Also make sure that you're reaching out to your friends and family, sometimes asking them as well if they're okay, uh, because they might be struggling. So it's important to ensure that you are taking care of your own personal health and also just checking in with friends and family as well. So critical. Uh, a few things as well that you can do there is practicing mindfulness uh, and, and making time, ment taking mental blocks out there to ensure that you don't get burned out. So, you know, exercising if you can. If you can't, maybe just take a go outside and have a five minute breather, get some fresh air outside and that will certainly help your productivity and also it will make you feel better and it will get you on track to having a, you know, a better health in 2021. And next up, what's important is to learn something new, right? Uh, uh, the, uh, I, I, and it's coming to me now when I think of it. Give me a second. Uh, it's on my shelf. Let me have a quick look there. Scott Adams. There you go. So Scott Adams says every skill that you acquire doubles your chances of success. So go out and learn something new. Expand your skill set. Invest in your own personal development and your own personal growth. You, there, there should never be a time when you stop learning. 
So learning is important as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a business leader. You should be constantly learning. There is many things that you can be doing. Some of it can be learning for business and sometimes you can be learning as a hobby, taking up something um, outside of your work as well. And that will, you know, obviously help your health as we just spoke about. But then also if you're doing it for business, it can help you, um, you know, on your business path um, to achieve success as well in 2021. And then very lastly, you need to be building resistance, uh, resilience. And the reason for that is, as we saw in 2020, change is inevitable, right? N um, nothing stays the same. And you need to be building this resilience to change, to be uh, adaptable, developing within your business, within your team as well, the resilience to overcome obstacles and challenges as we saw last year in 2020 with, you know, everything that we were thrust upon and the COVID-19 pandemic and the, the, the whole upheaval that the world went through. So it's critical for you as an individual, as a business leader, to be building resilience so that you can lead your team and also for yourself personally because of the mental stresses and the difficulty that you may have encountered last year. Your goal for this year should be to build that resilience so that you can come out better at the end of 2021. So those are a couple of the things that I think you should continuously be doing in 2021 if you want to have a very successful 2021 and also thrive in this uh, challenging and also very competitive market. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.